Okay, let's add some dimensions to tutorial uh, two, two. All right. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I am going to go to drafting. First thing I want to do is I want to set my defaults. So I'll go to file down here to configuration. And then you pretty much just go through the dimensions and notes. Dimension attributes, decimal, yes. Decimal place is three, that's fine. Uh, no tolerance settings. Dimension text, I like to make my dimension text an eighth of an inch. Um, everything else I can kind of take. Go down to note text again. And these are your defaults. And then uh, leaders and witnesses. I like to make these a little smaller, about the same size. That's fine. And then all that's okay. Now, what you want to do is uh, you want to, um, if you just save this, it'll save it to the configuration file. And I do want to keep that, so it'll always be my configuration. Now, the other thing I want to do is uh, make sure that I have a new level. So I'm going to create a new level two because I like to separate my dimensions and I'm going to call this dims and you can see I just overwrote that uh, so I also want a uh, level one okay and I'm going to call level one entities or objects I guess and I put my geometry on that level Okay, but I want to make dimensions current. And then the other thing I want to do, which I can do from the Home tab, is I want to set my default color for now, which is going to be magenta. All right, now once I have that all set up, I'm going to create some dimensions. And you could use the Smart Dimension because it figures out what you're trying to do. And then if you want to use, if you need other types you can grab them but so for instance if I select that all I have to do is grab this okay and actually in this case six is a little small or, or an eighth of an inch is a little small well I can adjust that here so maybe 0 0.25 is good for this one yeah that's a little better okay and then um, I actually want to move this out so I could just drag it and then click where I want it. And then I can continue to add dimensions. So I want to go from here to here, here to there. Okay, here to here. And you see how it wants to go diagonal? That's part of the smart dimension. But if you click it there, you can then re grab it and move it into position. So now, if I want to get this dimension actual to the intersection, what I can do is I can pick here and then move this guy out of the way. And then go here and say intersection. I want the intersection of this and that. And then that will give me the intersection point. And then if this is in the way, just drag it away. Click here. And you get that. And you get the idea. Okay? And you could finish that. This concludes this video.